Hello, I'm Jim Conner, a periodontist living in Denver. I'm looking forward to being with you live someday for the purpose of discussing two topics that are near and dear to me. They are typically called perio courses, but actually these classes might easily be called restorative in nature as they will help you get better restorative results. They are designed to get you better restorative results. In the crown length class, you will see how with some minor surgical procedures, we can shorten the gum to expose more sound tooth structure. This can turn teeth that appear non-restorable into routine restorative candidates or help correct areas that had developed restorative complications like here. Larry had severe impingement of the biologic width due to having had such short teeth and the clinician went far too subgingively in an effort to get better retention. You can see the retention grooves that they placed. They helped the crown stay on, they had good retention, but in the process impinged on the gum tissue. Here's the comparison between before the surgery and then at the time of impression taking after the surgery, you can see that the teeth are much more wholesome. Another topic to be discussed is how in the anterior zone, gingivectomies alone will not work as the soft tissue will grow back without bone modification. In the class, proper bone management will be emphasized. Here's an example with Carol. She had the desire for whiter, brighter teeth and had some excess gum tissue, which her dentist suggested maybe could be removed. In doing so, we needed to also take away the bone Otherwise, this nice improved aesthetic result could not have been obtained. The other class is soft tissue grafting. Again, while it's perio in nature, the fact is this class is also geared to helping you get better restorative results and better aesthetic results. Two different procedures will be highlighted, namely free gingival and connective tissue grafts. While these grafts are different, they both can create more stable zones of keratinized tissues that will prevent gingival recession around recently placed crowns, which I bet many of you have seen, or could predictably provide soft tissue coverage over exposed roots. Here's an example of both procedures. On the top, the top three are gingival graft. You can see a window is made and the graft is placed into the window and a wider zone of keratinized tissue is obtained. In the lower three photos, you can see exposed unesthetic roots with a different kind of grafting procedure now going into the envelope, we're able to get soft tissue coverage. So we have two different objectives, stopping or preventing recession or obtaining root coverage. These classes are both lecture workshop in format which means that they will include an extensive discussion of both indications and contraindications for each of the procedures, and will also provide the opportunity for attendees to practice procedures on fresh, frozen pig jaws. So there you have it, a quick overview of the perio and restorative connections, the perio and restorative applications that these useful courses will offer those practitioners who choose to join us.